Hey everybody, Dr. Rick here. Uh, moving around, actually leaving the office about to uh, head back to the house, uh, get some things done there. Probably work the rest of the day from the office. I mean, the home office. Uh, but uh, just want to stop in real quick. Uh, don't forget, uh, real quick, those of you who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. If not, uh, click the link and go find out. But don't forget, if you have a sponsored space to play tribute uh, to that special person in your life, whether it's your spouse, uh, your loved one, your mom, your pops, your grandma, grandpops, your business mentor, whatever, uh, go down, click that link, and your sponsorship will allow you to uh, have a page, not a page, but have a space in the book. You can't have a page, but uh, you'll see all that uh, in uh, my 25th book, which is um, Chasing the Ghosts, uh, The Quest for Blackwell. Uh, definitely book number 25. I'm trying to do it uh, a little different. Uh, it's special for me, but definitely uh, go check that out. Look, I'm not going to be long. Uh, I got a lot on my mind, uh, but I just want to drop in because there, there's this teaching moment in the midst of a bunch of BS, right? And so those of you, first of all, let me put a disclaimer on the top of this. So everything has context. I am not a fan of Nicki Minaj for a number of different reasons. I'm not a fan of Nicki Minaj. She is not a person I give a whole lot about any any given day. She doesn't even come across my mind unless something is going on and something's going on. With that being said, uh, you probably heard that uh, when the Met Gala, uh, the annual Met Gala, uh, you know, requested that everybody be vaccinated, Nicki Minaj declined. She said she didn't know enough about it. She's still doing her research and some other things, you know, uh, about she doesn't know what's in the shot and a bunch of other things. And what you have to understand, and I tell people all that all the time, is when they can use you, and I'm talking specifically now about liberals. I'm talking specifically now about liberals. When they can use you to push their agenda they give you this big platform, they get behind you, they let you speak, they want your voice heard because they know that your following listens to you. They get behind you, they push and everything else. Okay, but what happens is at a point in time, one of two things happen. You either say something they don't like or you, your flame burns out or fizzles out and you don't have the leverage or the pull or some type of negative uh, narrative is attached to you and they bail on you quick well this is what's going on now when she said that the liberals went left they came from every direction don lemon uh the damn white house called her and said they want to talk to her about um covet safety now all of the scholars and black intellectuals uh, that have done the research, that have at some level developed a at least a marginal perspicacity of the dynamics at play. Uh, and you don't have to be a virologist, a neurologist, uh, immunologist, molecular biologist, uh, uh, any of those things to get an understanding. You simply have to be able to understand how research is done uh, the importance of having a control group, which none of the stuff, none of the uh, research that is being done right now, uh, the control group has been pulled ever since roughly about January of this year. Uh, and if you don't understand the importance of a control group in research, just look it up. Um, you can manipulate so much without that control control group. You control control group. Oh, controlled group. Okay. Back, 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 back to where I was at. Anyway, out of all those people, they ask Mickey, they, they want to talk to Nicki Minaj. And the reason they want to talk to Nicki Minaj, the reason that they want to interview Nicki Minaj is because they are anticipating that she has not done the research, or even if she has, she cannot articulate it in a way 
that can withstand the onslaught of loaded, pointed, uh, and leading questions. And that's how they go after people who are dissenters of the vaccination. So my thing is, I think that anybody is well within their rights to want to know more, period. Everybody's well within their rights to want to know more. I'm not going to tell somebody what they should do or what they should not do. Uh, because the truth of the matter is, either way, it could end bad for you. And it has to be a decision that you're comfortable with. Me and my family, we've done our research, especially me. They're depending on me for a lot. But I, like with my wife, I take it to her and I sure say, hey, look, baby, see this, see this, see this. Okay, let's look at it over here. And I do balanced research. Uh, and so I know the facts. And so we make our decision. What our decision is, is our business, but we make our decision. And I think anybody that knows me knows what our decision is. But anyway, what gets me is how quickly the liberals reel them in. Now, all this is coming because Don Lemon, I mean, literally, now Don, Don Lemon is supposed to be a professional journalist. But Don Lemon, Don Lemon came for uh, Nicki Minaj because she said she didn't know what was in the shot. And he said that she was basically the last person that should be talking about she doesn't know what's being injected into her. Uh, we all know where that's going. Uh, with all the implants and all the shots, basically was is what he was saying. Uh, number one is, what does that have to do with ju professional journalism? You know, I expect to see that kind of stuff on these podcasts and, and, and you know, streams that everybody's got up and going on. I expect that. But somebody that's supposed to be a professional journalist should be sticking to the narratives and the facts, should be gaining an understanding of a person's position, not firing back at them. It's not a journalist's responsibility to cap back. Now, from what I understand, she capped back as well by saying, not, I'm pretty sure everybody doesn't know what's going up your butt. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty sure she's going to get mollywhopped by the LGBTQ community uh, because that's how they roll. You know, if there's anything I would want to take from that group, it is the manner in which they move, organize, and mobilize when something goes down. Now, the thing is, do I agree with 90% of the times they're going to attack? No, I think that it's a hyper mobilized thing. It's just like, hey, you know, you say the wrong thing, we coming at you. We don't want anything said. They're the only ones right now off limits. So no, I don't agree with it. Uh, but that's not why I'm in. My whole point is this. Watch what happens from now. Watch how they reel her in and watch how they try to crush her. Uh, and it's solely because she's speaking against the narrative that they're holding. You're not allowed to be a free thinker. You're not allowed to operate along the lines of reason and fact. You have to buy the party narrative, the group narrative, the group think. And you have to stay in alignment with that or it comes with negative consequences. And what kills me is you're talking about a group uh, and speaking specifically of Democrats now. And no, I'm not caping uh, uh, for Republicans. I think if you follow me long enough, you know I don't cape for the two-party system whatsoever. Um, uh, we've been screwed by both wings. Right wing, left wing belong to the same bird. Bird's been shitting on the heads of black people for 400 years. No, that's not uh, what I'm doing. What I'm saying is you gotta understand how both parties play. And you gotta know the, the way that each party is a threat. When it comes to Dems, it's a 
bunch of promises. We're going to use your 90% loyalty to leverage, and then we're going to ultimately use the power you give us through your leverage 90%. Don't get me wrong. Um, I understand we only make up 13% of the population, so that 90% isn't a predominant number, but it's huge in the sense that we are the most loyal uh, race to any party. No other race is that loyal to any particular party or any particular philosophy, political philosophy or anything. Blacks are 90% showing up and going with the liberals. Okay. But they get take that loyalty, the power that it provides them, and then they go empower other people. Everybody except us. They're caping for the LGBT community hard. They're caping for immigration hard. They cape for the Asians hard. And yet, the ones that have been here the longest and maligned the longest, nothing. And it just amazes me to watch how they do that. They'll put us on a platform, use us, leverage us, and when we dissent or when we move out of alignment with the narrative, they don't just simply separate. They try to destroy. And they have done it over and over again. A bunch of, just look back, a bunch of people that were on deck just four and a half years ago that were the superheroes of the Democratic Party. Where are they now? Detached. Some are uh, facing uh, prosecution. Others are going to be... Um, forced out of office and on down the line from DAs to mayors to governors even some congress uh, uh, congressmen so uh, I said all that to say this we need to be aware of what we're facing we need to have a clear understanding of how we're going to move this is why I advocate with such great frequency and intensity the need for us to be organized, the need for us to strategize, the need for us to have think tanks, the need for us to be in a situation where we're now strategically ahead of the game, uh, 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 ahead of the eight ball, instead of always being caught behind and getting pinned. Um, just something to think about. But just watch this. Watch what's happening with that. Um, it's amazing to sit up and see it. You know, uh, like I said, I'm not a fan of Nicki Minaj, but I definitely uh, defend her right to sit up and say, I'm making a decision, and this is the decision I'm making, and this is why I'm making the decision. Uh, that's what this whole thing is about, is our ability to be able to make decisions. Now, on that note, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Um, headed, Like I said, headed to... Uh, get some things done, but I just had to drop this little uh, piece in on you. You guys have a great, don't forget, support the work we do at the Odyssey Project. Don't forget, sponsor a space in my 25th book, uh, Chasing the Ghosts. And I'm out of here.